All right, guys, um, next tip for today, the small mouth in the river and up on the lake. This will apply for both. And these are some baits that you normally don't see a lot of people using, but they work really, really good, especially in the pre-spawn bite. Um, these are great early morning and late afternoon baits. And one thing that's overlooked quite a bit is the underspin. Um, so here we got an underspin. And this is the actual jig. And you can see here what we got is a willow blade with a ball bearing spinning swivel on there. So this is just your standard underspin. And what you do is you pair that with a plastic swim bait. Um, these are the two colors that I like in spring are this orange with this kind of dark greenish brown back, kind of gives that crawdad color. And then we've got uh, this green and purple I don't know what it's mimicking, but green and purple always work good. It's kind of a pinkish purple. So how we rig these, you want to take this bait, match it up to the top. You have a slit on the top of this here and measure where that hook's going to go in. Take your thumb and now you've marked that spot with your thumb and your index finger. Now always a little tip on putting these on so you don't tear them up match it like this that way when you go to put it on you know exactly the way that it goes so go all the way in to where your thumb was poke it through the top shove it on and now you've got your swim bait with your spinner here what's going to happen is that spins underneath this fish underneath this swim bait and uh, you're gonna catch fish. You throw that and, and a lot of times let that drop because a lot of times they're gonna hit it on the drop. So let this drop all the way to the bottom, then pick it up. You can swim this through grass, through weeds, off of points. Very, 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 very good bait. And again, this color works well too. So now the other bait that's overlooked, it's an oldie but a goodie and they've been modernized and what it is, is the Whopper Plopper. Now these are the ones that we make and we have them in the Magnum size, which I really prefer. And then we have them in a little smaller size. These are in trout patterns. What these are is a surface bait. And as that's traveling across the water, that thing is plopping and just making a bunch of racket and getting some attention. These things work great in the early morning and late afternoons. And these are the top colors that I prefer. This is a trout color, as you know, trout's kind of a thing here. It's a uh, candy bait for these fish. This pink one works great, I love pink. Pink works really well out here for just about everything, even the striped bass. And bright orange. I like to go to this one when nothing else is working and you just wanna get that anger strike or that aggression strike. And this bright fluorescent orange, Love that one. When nothing else is working, go to the fluorescent orange. Black and gold, love this color. This is a great, when it's still dark out or the sun is just set, because it is a darker color. Gotta love this one, black and gold. Don't be afraid of the Whopper Plopper. These have been around for years and years and years. They're making a big comeback. We have a big selection here in the shop, but I'm telling you, don't overlook the Whopper Plopper. These things work great and they're absolutely easy to use. All you do is cast it out, retrieve it in until this propeller's plop, 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 plop where they're getting it. Hence the name Whopper Plopper. All right guys, well happy fishing and hopefully we'll see you guys out there soon catching the big one.